So here I am in the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Bad camera because uh, I kind of can't get a real capture card that kind of is like really expensive. So I'm pretty much just pointing a camera at the Switch. Now today I'm going to talk about how um, there's a lot of problems with Breath of the Wild. Because this game is really good. Like, really, really good. But obviously there's a tons of bugs and stuff, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm talking to talk about the normal gameplay and what's a really big problem with it. Now, this is a great exploration game. Exploration works fine. But there's general combat reasons and a, a couple of others that this game uh, doesn't really work as well as it should. So uh, let's just hop into it. So first thing, if I go in here, you, you just look at the top right. Tell me, how many rupees is that? Yeah, that's right, a lot. Now, you see, that's actually not that much in this game. In another Legend of Zelda game, you couldn't even get that much. Normally, this amount of rupees would be more than you could even collect. Because it used to be 99 rupees was one of the most expensive things you could buy in most of the 2D games. And in the 3D games, 1,000 is usually the most expensive thing you can buy. But 6,000, usually you can't even get to that amount. But in Breath of the Wild, oh no, you could just walk up to a store and sell a bunch of random crap out of your inventory. And oh look, you have 6,000 rupees now. Now you can go buy everything! Oh wait, no you can't, because then rupees are also worthless, because every tiny piece of armor is also going to cost around 2,000 rupees. Why? 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 Why are rupees so inflated in this game? Now, that's not really a big deal. But then you also got side quests. Now, I, I realize these two subjects have been talked about a lot, but I mean, honestly, am I going to take the time to... Uh, do any of these for the baby stuff it gives me. Yay. I get a tarot. Actually, that's never bad. That's a good one. But, uh, let's see here. There's a, there's a lot of bad ones, but, um, that's a good, ugh. I've, I've done all the bad ones already, it seems, on this file. No, 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 I, I've done all the bad ones on this file. But just trust me, there's, there's a lot of ones that are like, Yay, I gave you, like, 90 rupees in resources for 100 rupees. Um, and just dumb stuff. It's, it's... Now, some people might say the Koroks are a problem. No, that's, that's actually designed perfectly. You only ever need to collect half of them to get maximum stacked. And if you're really dedicated, you'll collect all of them. But, I mean, it's really just not even a little bit necessary. But, uh, now the last thing that they could technically fix is, well, I kind of can't be in Hyrule Castle for this, so let's just, uh, pop out of here. Okay, now that I'm out of Hyrule Castle, you may notice my health bar depleted a little bit. I, uh, may have landed on some malice, um, a little bit of motorcycle troubles, but, uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about is, let's say I just wanted to go over here. No biggie. It's just a really long loading screen. Now, that's reasonable. It is a Switch. Switch isn't very powerful. Now that we've managed to get all the way over to the shrine, let's pretend I haven't done this yet. I would just go in. Now I had to deal with another loading screen just to get in here. Now, let's assume I did- ooh, wait, these shrines reset? Since when did these shrines reset? I've literally never gone back into one of these. But, um, now that I've gone in here, assuming, you know, I just, uh, beat it and left. You know, through the actual exit, but, ow. Let me just, uh, fast forward to the end of this fight. Okay, now that I'm done with the fight, Let's just, you know, assume I'm going to go grab the spirit orb over there. But, because I've already grabbed the spirit orb, let's just uh, go over here. I now have to leave. Because, yeah. And then, right up here pops up another loading screen. Now, what say ye 
if I have to immediately teleport somewhere because I only went there for a shrine. Hey, looky at that! Another loading screen! Why? Is there not a teleport button on the loading screen? It could save me so much time if I could just press a button and pull up my map and redirect my teleport. So much of a time save. Because exiting those shrines takes so long. Different loading screen each time just that I go back to where I want to go. This is annoying. But that's just it. Annoying. That's not really a big problem. Now, on to the more unfixable problems that uh, there's not really much of a solution they can do, but it's it's just sad to see that in, this in here. So, look at my health bar. I have 20 hearts. Now, normally, that's max for a Zelda game. In this one, it sure as heck ain't it, 30 hearts. And in Tears of the Kingdom, it's possibly going to be 40 even worse. Because, whenever I'm hurt, oh no. Hey look, I'm fine. And look at how many times I can do this. I can do this all day. It used to be, you, you had to get a bottle, buy a potion, and then that was like the only way you can heal in a dungeon. Adding a real challenge to the game. But now, oh no, I got hit. Oh look, I pressed the pause button and suddenly I'm fine again. Because you also had to be able to, you know, actually get into a position where you could drink your potion. But now it's just, nah, 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 pause. I feel better now. Nom 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 Tasty food. Okay, back to standing up after I ate my full meal on a plate. It's, why? It's painful to see that. Because it, it removes the challenge from the game, and it just makes it collecting resources is the only thing you need to do to survive. Now, that obviously is an issue, but it's not that bad. At least the combat still works, right? Well, when you really think about it, the, the game's combat is great, yeah, because you're always thinking of creative new ways to do stuff. But, what just happens if I go out and find some monsters to fight? It took me too long to find any monsters, so I decided to just pop into the Trial of the Sword. Now, I haven't been able to beat this, because on Master Mode, it's painful, and I'm on Master Mode. Now, there's a reason. Okay, you know, let's just start with basic combat in general, before talking about why Master Mode makes it so much worse. If I load in here, and uh, skip past all this text, now, this is fun, you know, I'm, I'm learning, I'm doing creative stuff to go and solve how to beat this. Now that's fun. This is just fine. Pick up my tree branch, and I don't really feel like stealthing this, so I'm just gonna run up here and steal all their weapons. Okay, I have stealth out. I'm probably gonna get killed. But, um, look at this. Well, I should probably, uh... Eh. Now, this is combat, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, let's, let's just look at what basic combat looks like. Oh, look, dodge, hit. And that's it. There's, there's no extravagance to basic combat. Bow combat is great and fun. Melee fighting, you're either using a, a one-handed weapon, or you pull out a big weapon and just go spinny spin spin, and you easily win because heavy weapons are extremely overpowered and spinning is really, really easy to do and just makes it, because spinning with a two-handed weapon just makes it so that it's, it's faster than doing a spin attack with another weapon and deals so much more damage and slows the enemy down. There's just like... It's terrible. Now, this isn't really a big deal because fights are usually short, but they get pretty long later in the game when the enemies are tougher. And, but you usually just end up not doing basic combat. But, 
Then you have Master Mode. Which, if it weren't for the fact that all these enemies and me were so weak, it would be an absolute pain. Because it just so happens that in Master Mode, all of the enemies have way more health because they're up to tier, and regenerate, making a fight takes twice as long. When it's just this boring slap, and it's it's not even, there's also the fact that you just launch the enemies around, so there's no just normal combat, you just send them flying, and then there's this, there's this. This is the most overpowered thing, and it's stupid that the game lets you do this. You just hit twice, and then stop. And then you won't send them flying. That's why the fact that you can send them flying is so annoying. Because it's just so much better to not send them flying. And it gives you no reason to finish a combo unless you have critical hit. Which you can't even get later into the game. It's just such a bad combat system when you really think hard on it. Now... Out of all my complaints in this game, I, I still love this game, and I'm really, really excited for Tears of the Kingdom. Now, it looks like the combat's going to be a little bit better, because uh, there will be more options to do creative solutions, even more so than there was in this game. Where's the last enemy? Um, but, it it's partially just the engine's fault, and I really, really, why did I miss those shots? Um, oh, I'm out of arrows. <laughs> that would explain it. Um, but I really, really hope that they at least fix the heart problem in Tears of the Kingdom. Because I, I, the problem is I saw a cooking pot in the trailer. Meaning, there's probably going to be the same cooking system. Which means, uh, which is why I'm hoping to someday do a foodless run. Where you can only eat elixirs and milk. Because those aren't food. Those are the only things you can consume. So. Yeah, those are my complaints. I'm a complainer.